Well, there is some good news. Power has come back on for most people here in Green Country. As we take a live look now at the map, more than 4,000 customers are still without power. Now, PSO promised that most Tulsans would be back online earlier this evening. Two News Oklahoma reporter Brody Myers met one man who didn't have power all week. When I met with Linwood Stake on Saturday afternoon, he was still without power, but he's heard from some neighbors who were back online. Since storms rolled through Tulsa last weekend, he's been sleeping in his garage. Pure hail is <laughs> hot. Stake says he lost power almost immediately after storms went through town last weekend. Heard the big kabooms, lost the tree in the front yard and and it was gone, you know. Stake and his wife have set up a few fans, a couch, and a recliner in their garage. He says it's too hot inside their house to comfortably sleep. What sleep they can get in the garage has been light. The air is flowing, but it's still hot, and the air is thick with humidity. I mean, there's not much you can really do about it, but just, you know, try to cope and deal with it the best way you know how. Stake tells me he's lost some insulin and other medication used to treat his diabetes. He estimates a few hundred dollars worth. Beyond the scale of stress, I mean, I mean I'm going to have to recoup and get over this uh, financially, uh, mentally. Since Stake has been sleeping in his garage, he's dealt with hot temperatures, no doubt. But he's also worried about some stuff happening around his neighborhood. Having to keep ourselves protected because we have a lot of nuisance over here in the neighborhood, you know, so it's kind of like an uncomfortable situation to have to sleep that way, but there was no way we could sleep in the house. It was too unbearable. After our interview, I saw several PSO crews and private electricians around working on restoring power. Wayne Green with PSO says they have almost 4,000 workers out in the city. No one has been released. No one will be released uh, until we don't have work for them anymore. Stake has dealt with a lot. He told me just seeing the crews around his house had made him feel better. Still, he's had enough. I, I hope we never in my lifetime have to deal with anything like this. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.